Hello there, my name is Ben and welcome back to my channel. So we're playing De Dear Esther and um, this is chapter 2 and this is the caves and uh, actually I believe we're probably on chapter 3 by now. Um, anyway, you may notice on the last video that I uploaded someone um, commented saying that they could see some shadowy figure off in the off in the distance and if you'd like to go and see that go back to the video and press on the timestamps he's left but i've actually just made a video following the person i played the first part again and there is a ghost-like figure on these moors with me which is kind of freaky but um anyway right now we're in the caves and as you know apparently i slipped down and break my uh i must have fell from up there break my leg and this place is amazing never seen anything like this. Stunning is this game. This may be the best looking game I've ever played and it's such a shame because I just watched the video I uploaded to uh, YouTube and it's nothing like it is when you're actually playing it. It must be my um, software. Wow look at this. It must be my software. Now this looks a lot like the kind of paint that that guy is leaving everywhere but I don't think it is. Some sort of barnacles or something. Strange. Wow. So once again, there's no more storyline that's progressed. All I did was slip down by accident, actually, at the end of the last playthrough. So unfortunately, um, this is where we have to start off because I was right at the kind of mouth of it, and there's a hole that you just literally drop down into, and that's that's what happened. Should we, uh, should we go up here? Can we go up here? Apparently we have to crawl down to do it. Wow. That does not look like a good idea. Look at that. I mean, it's unbelievable. I know now that this game is actually quite short as well, which is sad because, you know, I'm really enjoying playing it, but I also realised that in terms of developing There is no game, other direction, no other exit from this motorway. Speeding past this junction, I saw you waiting at the roadside for one last drink in your trembled hands. God, it's really sad. So it looks like I have to go back and up into that hole. Not exactly the most pleasant of experiences. There. I'll take the blue pill. Yeah, I was just saying that in terms of developing a game like this, it must take them ages to make something look this good. Like everything is customized. Like every single part is it's like some handcrafted piece of art. I can't go up the sides. No, I can't. I have to fall down then. Then here we go. Oh. Oh, here we go. Wow, you can actually go on there. Look at that. wish the developers of this would go I'm sure they're going to have a very very nice life in the gaming industry after making something as beautiful as this thing is though that's the thing though, it can't be very long because it must take them ages to do stuff, it can't go this way apparently not up here oh, look at the way it like shimmers Sorry, it's just stunning. It's really good looking. <laughs> oh my god. What is that in there? It's like orange, something in there. It's appeared to be something in there. Don't know what it is. 
Wait, is this where I just fell down? Oh, I just came from that way. Fell down there, went up there, came up. Oh, I see. Right, that makes sense. It's getting to a point with a commentary like this that I find it hard to... Um, I find my talking does no service to the game, if you know what I mean. Because all I can do is give my objective opinion as a, you know, a, a gaming professional, but when you're playing a game like this, it's all about... Wow. Wow. I am travelling through my own body following the line of infection from the shattered femur towards the heart. I swallow fistfuls of painkillers to stay lucid. In my delirium, I see the twin lights of the moon in the area shining to me through the rocks. God. boat that was a paper oh oh no the advert can you see that it's hundreds of paper boats who launched that paper boat I've got to go that side that was definitely a paper boat There's a ghost here, there has to be a ghost. A ghost is involved in some how. I have no idea, but there's definitely a ghost involved somehow. So when I bought this game, I bought it for Joe Trocious, Boop, Arctic Wolf and Rex the Algonian on the forums. Um, just as, because they, it was on their wish list basically. And um, I know that they're all enjoying it, which I didn't think they would. Because, you know, it gets to a point with when we're so influenced by like Call of Duty and stuff like that, that um, I didn't think they would appreciate a game like this. But as it turns out, I think they're really enjoying it. So it's just unfortunate that it isn't long enough. What I think they should do is... Um, give the kind of public the ability to, to help create not DLC but custom stories like like you get with Amnesia um, we, so we don't find out where the paper boat came from that's some sort of engine or motor system it's like a diamond <laughs> doesn't appear to be all that much hidden here right now, so let's go where the bridge wanted us to go in the first place. See, if I made a game, I would get a development team like the Chinese run, the people who made this game in, to help me make my game, because, you know, with me, I'm all about the detail, and you really lose that with modern games now, which are basically all like Michael Bay films, just explosions, and kind of the inability to really take in your surroundings and feel the environment and uh, really amnesia was the first time that i had that but this is much more like you feel because there's no hud or anything um you just feel so like you're part of the game and that, that i'm actually treading these steps it's just strange to explain but ah oh, so it is paint right but he hasn't been around here painting neon glows on every stalactite stalagmite or stalactite I can't remember which one what is that 
barnacles. So it's first. This is a drowned man's face reflected in the moonlit waters. It can only be a dead shepherd who has come to drunk drive you home. What? Don't see a face. <gasps> oh, I fell in. I didn't think I was going to fall in then. <laughs> Whoops. There's writing. Behold, Damascus taken. Damascus is taken. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, this is really freaky. God, this is so weird. And it shall be. It shall be. It shall be a. That something head. Punus? I don't know if that's it. God, this is so bad.
That was incredible. I think this is probably the last chapter. So I think uh, I'll leave it here soon. The moon over the Sanford Junction, headlights in your retinas. Donnelly drove a grey hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. All my gulls have taken flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong. His life is reduced to electrical. I don't know. Well, this seems like a good place to leave it, guys. So, um, I'll see you in what probably will be the last part of this. Fantastic! This is this game is incredible, and I'll see you soon. Take care.